Hey everybody, AJ Morris again from iThemes. And in this video, I'm continuing my uh, Gutenberg block editor block collection plugin uh, reviews. Uh, this time we are covering Stackable. So let's get right in. Uh, so this is Stackable and uh, it's a, a free freemium uh, plugin. There's a free version and a premium version. Um, this review is just covering the free version right now. Uh, we're not getting into uh, the pro version, so there are going to be some limitations uh, here that you'll see um, from, from looking at, at wpstackable.com. Uh, so to install uh, Stackable, uh, you just do a search for Stackable. Uh, you'll find, find it um, right in the plugin directory. You can download it. If you're on the site here and upload it, or uh, if you're in uh, installed plugins, you can go in here, uh, just do a stackable uh, search, click on install and activate. Uh, once you're in, you're going to see this page. You're going to get redirected over here. They're going to try to sell you uh, or upsell you, excuse me, on uh, stackable premium. Um, I would definitely suggest that you take a look at that. Uh, especially if you're going to start adopting uh, Gutenberg or the block editor into uh, your uh, arsenal or your tool belt uh, for building websites. But uh, let's take a look at the free one and see uh, really what, what there is to do. So I'm going to just go ahead and create a new page from down here. And if you remember uh, from my, my Coblox, uh, my first review uh, covering Coblox, we are using the 2020 theme. And uh, I've made a, just a few slight modifications to it just for uh, my own sanity sake of, of dealing with color and being able to put together a page that really showcases uh, the block plugin uh, that we're looking at. So um, we're going to call this one uh, Stackable. And uh, we're going to go ahead and create our first uh, look, at, look at what Stackable offers. So uh, Stackable, uh, unlike Coblox, um, puts their blocks all the way down at the bottom. You'll see it down here, and you'll see the little, uh, the little, like crazy S that they have uh, for their logo, uh, and then all of their, uh, all of their icons for all of their blocks are the uh, like pinkish, pinkish to orange gradient uh, look. Uh, that's that's cool, um, but but not not the the bread and butter here. Uh, so one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a header. Uh, this is what their header block looks like uh, by default. Now the one thing I'm going to do is also do a full width uh, template uh, on the, the page. Uh, go back into this block though, and you can see I've got uh, some, some different block editor functions over here. So uh, it starts out with a layout, and you can pick uh, a basic layout or a plain layout. Uh, and then they've got more, and they're going to try to upsell you on more. Uh, so that's why I, I tell you they're going to really try to upsell you. And, it's, and if you're going to use uh, Gutenberg and you're looking at a a paid uh, product, uh, Stackable is is definitely one to consider. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as basic here. And then uh, I've got a few design options. Uh, so I could I could do this corporate dark two, and you'll see it magically change. Uh, in here basically creates a little template which is which is to me uh, really nice because chances are I'm just going to do this anyways and uh, you just saved me uh, a few a few minutes of doing that um, I can you know go through and look at at the different designs here uh, we'll go ahead and do this orange one uh, now if you click on the style uh, I will call these tabs uh, you have uh, some more options here like do you want to show the title? Uh, you can turn that on and off. You've got some settings in here uh, for, um, you know, do you want it to be an H1? Do you want it to be an H2? Do you want to change the size? Do you want to change the size based on uh, resolution, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we'll just uh, kind of go back and reset there. Uh, if you want to include a, a subtitle or kind of a, sub subsection you can do that uh, you can change the color 
Uh, you've got button one and button two. You can turn them on or off. You've got your block background, which is, is nice. So it's going to do a gradient. Um, I might want my gradient to be a little bit more on the blue spectrum because I selected blue as my color uh, in the 2020 theme. So here's my two blues. Kind of see that gradient there. Uh, if you want to get into some advanced options, you can do that. So as I'm kind of just moving the degrees around and the color location, um, you can kind of see what that, that would do. Uh, so that's, that's all really cool. You've also got some blend, uh, background gradient blend mode. So you could darken, you could lighten, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of a cool uh, option. You've got a hard light uh, or none. Uh, we'll just leave it at none. Um, so some, some definite advanced options. This is one thing I like about Sackable is they're, they're doing the right things uh, for, uh, to really make your site stand out and, and really take in some of the latest design practices available uh, to you. Uh, you can also just do a single color if you want. Um, I, I like the gradient though, so we're going to leave that. Uh, if you want to change the image, uh, you could you could change that. So I think in my last one I used uh, an aloe type look. Here's that, uh, just with a little different look here. You could do a fixed background, uh, which gives you that uh, parallax uh, feel as you scroll, and you can see that here. That's that's really cool uh, to have in a free version of, of a block. Um, you can also support MP4 video formatted videos to have the video playing in the background. Um, what I would recommend though is that uh, if you're going to do videos, you have a CDN in place because this um, this ability to only search through your media library uh, is going to cause some problems uh, when you're talking about bandwidth and keeping your site fast. You never want to load uh, a video file on the same uh, server that your website's on. So uh, you're going to want to put a CDN in place uh, where those MP4 files and your images are, are not really loaded off of your website, but loaded off of the CDN. Um, all right, so that's enough of my little uh, spiel on MP4s. Let's continue on. Uh, you've got a top separator. This is pretty cool, right? You can create a little wave. You could do a, just a straight. Uh, you could got some other wave options. Uh, you've got some slants, some curves. Uh, they give you a ton of options in here uh, really to uh, make that. And if you, let me see, did I leave that fixed background? I left the fixed background on. So um, this, this, will, this will look really cool. It's going to, uh, let me add a, a bottom separator as well. So uh, it really starts to add in uh, a little bit more of a feel. Uh, to your site as you're scrolling. Uh, I really like that. I'm going to turn off the, the top separator and bottom separator for now though. Just leave those, those off. Uh, feel free to turn them on for yourself. Uh, I can customize all this, but since I've already put it all in, I'm just going to leave it here. Uh, we'll go ahead and click publish. And we will view uh, what our, our page looks like so far. So here's that parallax, right? The, the image is frozen in the back and it's kind of scrolling. Um, I guess a true parallax would have the, the image also scroll uh, at, a, at a slower pace, but um, this to me is still a pretty cool parallax look uh, for, for this uh, free plugin. Uh, let's go ahead and add another, uh, another stackable block. Uh, this time we are going to add uh, a feature grid uh, something that's kind of common to add. I want to, to add three wide across. And check this out again. Um, again with the designs. One thing I really like about Stackable is you can uh, very quickly have a designed site. So I'm going to, again, leave, leave one that I pick. Uh, if you want more options, definitely. Uh, they're, they're telling you more designs are coming soon for this. But... I believe some of these preset designs are, are available in the pro or paid version of Stackable. So um, something to consider uh, when you're looking at this. 
So once you're in here, you could come in and, and say, okay, I like the layout of this, but I want to change the buttons. Um, maybe I want a ghost looking button. That's, that's a new look. Uh, I really like how the hover effect bounces as you hover over it. So that's already there. Uh, you could change the buttons from tiny to large. I think it was that small. Uh, I'm going to change the color to blue just because that's my color. I also want to change the, the title to blue. Uh, and I can do that. Uh, well, I was thinking it was there. Um, oh, block title. Try moving that to blue. There we go. So now that I've done that, um, I've, I've got a pretty well designed uh, page already going. Uh, for next to no work on my side. Uh, and that's the power of, oh, if I just refresh this one, uh, that's the power of Stackable, right? That's that's what Stackable gives you. They give you a number of, of pre-designed uh, pre pieces uh, of their blocks. So we'll go ahead and add another one. Um, this time I want to add Maybe I'm going to add an accordion. Uh, I could do a plain accordion, a block accordion. Um, so here's here's the title when you click on it. Uh, you can see that. So maybe if I'm adding an FAQ or something like that, you could you could do that. I'm just going to leave this one for now. I think that looks good. Again, just to show you that block. Um, uh, let's do a call to action block. And I'm not even going to do anything. I'm just going to look at the design. So we've got plain. Or we've got basic. We'll leave it at basic because when we get down to designs, uh, there's definitely a number of options there for that. So I'll do this corporate light one. We immediately see that orange uh, to like red to orange uh, color uh, that we had up in that hero uh, block. Um, this time it's a it's a call to action block, and so uh, I can go into styles and style it. I'm just going to go ahead and save it though because I think this thing looks pretty cool uh, as it is. And now I've, I've pretty much got a page. Uh, you know what? This thing has got to go. I uh, hope you saw that accordion. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to get rid of it now. So removing a block here. And uh, we might update it here in a second. So uh, the other one I want to show you is that, that I like uh, is the container. And uh, when you add a container here, um, you can see the, the outsides of it. Uh, you've got some style options with it. So you could do a container background. If we do that blue, uh, you've got a, a, an option to do even a gradient. So maybe you do a blue to, uh, you know, like a purple. And then you can always do that advanced. Um, there we go. You can always do that advanced uh, gradient settings to it. And then, uh, you know, you can put stuff in it. So if you want a header, um, I don't want that kind of a header. I just want a like heading text. So uh, here's, here's some heading and check out this cool box. Change that color to white. Boom, there we go. All right, so that's a container um, block. That's pretty handy to have. They do have um, a few more I want to show you uh, that I like. So pricing. So if you're going to build a uh, page that maybe you're offering a service on uh, and you want to offer a uh, price, uh, you can do that here. Uh, so uh, the the uh, pricing, the way this works, you can upload your, your image. If you want to show an image, you can change your title, change your price, uh, all that. Again, you've got a plain versus a basic, and uh, you can you can do a little bit wider uh, if you want. I like the wide option. Um, the one place I was looking was to see if it allows you to offer more. And it doesn't appear to offer 
um, more um, more uh, row or sorry more columns in this row. Uh, so that's that's kind of a, a limitation. I'm sure it allow you to do more in the pro version. And I think in fact um, at some point I saw uh, pricing. Here's the here's the demo of the pricing table block, and you can see that they they have more. Uh, in there, so one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, one, two. Uh, here's some of those pre-designed options that they have. You can view all of the pre-designed options that they have available. Uh, so pretty handy to have. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, a pre-designed option. So I'm going to do this this blue one, uh, or sorry, this this orangish one, and I'm going to show you how to change the colors on it really quick. So uh, if we go to the block background, um, you do the whole block background. That's the uh, that's the um, back color back there. So we want that white. Um, let me get into there. We go. So I can I can get in and do uh, the blue. I can do a gradient. Um, there's an opacity set. So if I wanted it the the full color blue. I like I like an idea of a gradient, so we're gonna experiment with that a little bit. Uh, maybe do a, a purple again. Change the advanced gradient. Uh, just again showing you what you can do with uh, with this, right? So uh, the next thing that we need to do is maybe change the uh, title to white. What I also like is that when you when you do change. Um, when you're changing text uh, in this block uh, or changing colors, it changes it to both, uh, which is to me, especially when you're showing just two prices, you're not going to have like the best value um, icon or something over over top of one versus the other. So the fact that it changes both uh, is really handy. Um, you you do have that option to do a, an image if you want, and you can do different uh, styles of of the image. Uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, I did want to take the sub price, change that to white, uh, change the button. I like ghost uh, since we're kind of doing ghost on some of those. We'll keep that and I might change it to uh, white as well uh, or maybe, yeah, we'll leave it as white. So uh, that's that's the kind of option we get. We can um, add an icon if we want so we can um, view various icons that they have if we want a little um, visa next to it you could put put the little visa uh, icon next to it you could also go into your advanced settings you could make it go on the right side you could resize you could give it some more space really you've got some some pretty cool uh, options in here uh, when you're talking about uh, styling this out. So I'm going to go ahead and click update. We'll uh, refresh this page once more. And uh, here's our cool box now and then our, our pricing table. So, um, you know, really quick, uh, really fast way to create a landing page, uh, product page uh, with Stackable and something that I think, uh, you know, if you're looking to, to, uh, start utilizing and using Gutenberg in your uh, your toolbox. Uh, Stackable is probably uh, really high up there in in choices, just just because of the the sheer value uh, that it gives you um, inside of some pre designed pre designed styles of of those blocks. So uh, thanks for watching. Check out Stackable if you haven't, and make sure uh, you're following along with the blog posts and. Uh, all of that as we start covering all things Gutenberg. Thanks.